some Filipinos feels that you know if you're an African or if you're a black guy you know they all have big cock you know and it doesn't work like that uh, not everybody are all the same you know the fact that this person might be doing something bad doesn't mean that you know the other people from that country are actually gonna be like that no you know it's just that you know we have like this is like a hundred eggs you know so because of these two from this hundred egg eggs are actually committing this stuff or are doing this stuff does it mean that you know the rest of the 98 eggs are Yo, what's up guys and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Kano Chinedu Praise. Hope you guys are doing very fine. I hope you guys are maintaining the whole social distancing. Hope you guys are keeping safe. Hope you guys are also using your alcohol. And I also hope you guys, you know, are having a very great week. As you can see by the title of the video, I'm going to be highlighting or explaining what, you know, I really find very offensive. Or would I say I find very bad? Or would I say what I don't really like, you know, about uh, the Philippines? Uh, with due respect, I'm not trying to say the Philippines is a bad country. I'm not trying to like say, you know, people shouldn't come to the Philippines. Of course, the Philippines is an amazing country. But what I'm trying to say is this, you know, in every country you travel, as a traveler, or probably, you know, you love, you know, um, nature, you love exploring, and uh, you would always have a country which, you know, you might be treated very bad, or probably you might see some things you don't really like, you know, very favorable, or some things you might not really like about the country, or probably the energy, the food, maybe the people, or maybe how you've been treated and things like that. So that's exactly what I'm really going to explain in this video. I'm just going to be explaining generally how, you know, some Filipinos or how Filipinos, you know, treat some set of foreigners or some foreigners from different countries, from this continent or from this part of the world, from this island. So I want you guys to stay tuned and enjoy this video. Actually, this video is going to be a very short video. It's not really that I'm not really, I would say I don't really have much things I really hate about the Philippines or, or some things I don't really like about the Philippines. So uh, I want you guys, you guys to stay tuned and, you know, enjoy the video. But before I continue, if you know you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell so that you'll be able, you can be able to get future video even as I upload. And also, before I forget, don't forget to smash the like button. And also, lastly, don't forget to you know comment on what you think about this video. So, without further ado, let's get back to the video. Number one, some Filipinos they love generalizing. So, what I mean to say is this: you know, um, if you can watch uh, here in the Philippines, you know, we have um, different people from different countries. We have people from Africa. We have people from America. We have people from different uh, part of the world. You know. Me, I'm from Africa, you understand, and um, uh, what I got to understand is like this, you know, um, there are some, you know, there are some stuff that comes out of the news, like the whole um, scamming stuff, you know, and all manner of crimes, you know, that, you know, um, the Africans or some foreigners actually commit, you know. So, you know, when that comes out of the news, you know, um, some Filipinos will actually feel that, you know, if this African or if this person is doing like this, then definitely everybody from that country are doing things like that. Uh, which is not so you know um we feel that you know okay because you know someone did like this or probably someone loves mathematics or this person is in nigeria this person is in africa this person was in Zimbabwe. so if this person will love mathematics that means every african every african would definitely love the mathematics i uh, you know some filipinos feel that you know if you're an african or if you're a black guy you know they all have big cock you know and it doesn't work like that uh, not everybody are all the same, you know, the fact that this person might be doing something bad doesn't mean that, you know, the other people from that country are actually going to be like that. No, you know, it's just that, you know, we have like, this is like a hundred eggs, you know, so because of these two from this hundred egg eggs are actually committing this stuff or are doing this stuff. Does it mean that, you know, the rest of the 98 eggs are actually, you know, guilty of that? No, it doesn't work like that. So I, that's exactly what I really uh, don't really like. You know, I don't like you know a situation where you know uh, because this African or this individual committed this crime from this country, then automatically, this uh, that automatically sorry everybody from that country are all guilty of that same crime or of that same you know um, thing that that person did. It doesn't work like that because you know I have I I, I watch some things you know like some of the crime and some of the illegal stuff you know some of the Africans or some of the foreigners doing the Philippines you know when I watch. You know, I see some Filipinos say they're all like that. That is how all of them, how they all are. No, it's not like that. We have some good people. It's just that, you know, there are some uh, bad ones who are trying to support the good ones. So that is how it now makes, or it now feels like, you know, everybody are all bad. No, we still have, you know, good people. We still have, you know, people who are actually doing good things, who are actually doing legal stuff, who are actually, you know, being genuine about themselves. So that's exactly why I really need to, you know, um, change about, you know, how, you know, some Filipinos actually you know view 
some nationality or some people from different countries. Secondly, some set of Filipino feels that you know if you're a white man, you're very rich, or if you're a black man, you're very poor. I mean, that is the notion of basically, um, I would just say, majority of all the Filipino people. You know, when they tend to see a white foreigner, you know, they give them this special treatment, like they feel very comfortable around this, this thing, they want to go out to this foreigner, they want to hang out. But when it comes to a black foreigner, probably this foreigner is from Africa, you know, they have this mentality, they have this stereotype that, hey, he's a black guy, he doesn't have money, he can't pay for himself. It doesn't, it's not like that. Um, you know, some people feel that you know because he's a white person he comes to the philippines he feels they have money but they fail to understand that you know most of all these foreigners who actually travel and come from other parts of the most of all these white foreigners most of them save money to come most of them plan like two years one year even sometimes if plan three months just for them to you know travel all over the whole world so you don't need to generalize people based on where they come from i can be a black guy and i can be very rich and i come to the philippines and I can be a white guy and can be very, very poor. Also, I still come to the Philippines. So you don't need to say, okay, because of I am from this country or because of my skin color or because of my skin tone, then definitely this is how these white people tend to behave and this is how these black people tend to behave. No, everybody can steal, everybody can commit crime, everybody can go to school, everybody can travel. So you don't need to generalize based on, like you don't need to generalize uh, or you don't need to split some stereotype because okay, I am from this country or I'm from this race Then automatically this is how this white or this is how this person is tend to be No, I mean I can go to school. You can go to school. This guy can go to school So you don't need to say okay because the white people love to go to school and the black people don't like to go to school That's how they are. No, if you actually watch in the US the most successful um, black people or the most successful immigrant in in the US and the UK I actually Nigerians are actually Africans they are doing very very well so I won't say okay because of the fact that you know uh, Africans are actually doing very well that means the white people are very lazy no we also have some white people who are actually doing great things who are actually also accomplishing uh, same things just the same thing based on the black race people also from other continent people from other country people from other race and things like that so as a Filipino, I mean if you're Filipino watching this I mean like if maybe you're thinking like that I mean I think maybe it's high time maybe you need to you know change on how you you know view some certain people sometimes it's very good for you to research you know if it's good for you to you know really get to know about other countries sometimes it's also very good for you to travel you know some people feel that you know if you come to africa africa is quite a very it's a shit whole country like things are not going very very well but they fail to understand there are some places even most of all this western country that you know there's even no electricity like you, it's smelling the place is so dilapidated things are not really going very very well and they still come ahead and say, you know, when you just go Africa, they feel like, you know, Africa is a zoo, things are not really going well, the place is poor, like things are not, nah. We have so many amazing things in Africa. You know, sometimes it's very, very good for you to go and see for yourself. It's not just like believing what, you know, CNN or what the media say, BBC say this, no. Sometimes it's very, very good for you to, you know, come. When I came to the Philippines, when I heard about the Philippines, I've never heard about the Philippines before. I just, you know, I thought Philippines is a third world country, things are, like, things are just quite different. But the moment I came to the Philippines, it's totally very different stuff. So you don't need to, you know, generalize on what you see. Rather, you need to go there and experience it yourself before you can, you know, um, try to say, okay, this is how it is, this is how it is. So I don't know, if maybe you're a Filipino and you have some idea like this, I guess maybe this video is actually going to change your mindset on how you see the world generally. You don't need to see the world in just a small scope. You need to see the world in a very big stethoscope so that you can be able to learn on how you treat people, on how, you know, uh, you talk um, bad or how you talk good about some certain people coming from different places you know thirdly this um explanation is uh based on the relationship aspect you know there are some filipinos who are actually dating you know um black guys but i don't call it the black guys i call it chocolate guys there are filipinos who are actually dating chocolate guys and you know they say you know all black guys cheat like every guy you every black guy you meet they're always cheater that like you need to date a white guy that like you need to change you need to date a filipino no that is totally very 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 young if you can actually change the average percentage of black people coming to the Philippines, they're very young. And if you check the majority of foreigners who come to the Philippines to reside, are very old. I mean, the majority of white foreigners who come to the Philippines, they're very old. And most of all these white foreigners, most of them are divorced. Most of them, their wife has left them. And, you know, they're more of like a loser in their own country. So they decided, you know, to come to say, okay, the Philippines is a terrible country, you know, and you can, you know, meet girls and, you know, you can do whatever you want to do with them. So that's why, you know, most of them decide to come to the Philippines, you know, and, you know, try to settle and find people. But this 
these are black people and they're very young you know most of us are actually schooling here you know most of them are doing, also doing business so we are actually at our prime so you know we're just like the average filipino who are 25 26 we want to explore you understand it's not like maybe all black people are like that no but if you have the opportunity as a filipina or a filipino to date a white person you get to find out that the moment you start dating this white person you're going to find out something you don't really like about this white person and you like say oh my god i don't like this white i don't like the attitude i prefer to date the white maybe let me just try dating a black person maybe it's gonna be different. just like in the philippines also you know um i got to understand that you know uh, if you're a filipina and you have a child and you're a single mother it's gonna be very very hard for filipinos to take you very serious I'm very very good. The majority of the people have actually met single mothers, you know, they haven't really find a very very successful relationship, you know. But um they say I don't like Filipinos. But they felt to understand or they also see some good Filipinos, you know, who really accept you the way you are, you understand? So just like you know the white people. So you don't like generally this video is just all about generalizing. So don't try to, you know, um feel like okay, because this race is treating you like this, then if I go to this race or if I go to this person, they won't treat me like that. No. We are all different. We are human beings. We are not like being categorized under, you know, countries or nationality. No, we all have our own mind. So the fact that, you know, people are like this doesn't mean that, okay, this person is going to treat you like this. It's just that maybe you're not opportune to meet a good person or probably you haven't found a, a, a nice person that will treat you the way they are. So don't say, okay, uh, all black guys cheat. You need to cut all uh, communication when it comes to relationship with a black person. You need to date a white person. Because at some points, when you start dating this white person, you would find something you don't really like about him. And you would also be forced to say, oh, I need to go and date a Filipino, and I need to go and date a black person. So that's it. So we don't need to, you know, generalize and try to make this race or make this country less of themselves. And, you know, try to make this race, you know, more superior. No. Everybody are all created equal, you know. we have, The only difference is just, you know, we have different skin tone, different countries, you know, different language. But everything we have, we have eyes, we have mouth, we have nose, we have legs, we have everything is all there. So you don't need to, you know, um, generalize and make, you know, this person to think less or maybe to drink less superior of themselves. Yeah, I know that racism exists, you understand, but um, you won't try to say, okay, because racism exists, okay, you will now say, okay, because of racism exists, this is how, okay, I'm going to actually, you know, um, tell this person. That, no, that is why, you know, really, I don't know, I have a different mind, though. I like to research very very well before you know i run into contingent and these traits i've said is what i've really um really noticed about here i mean what i've really noticed here in the philippines and i i, I feel that you know um if you watch this video you know your idea your mindset about and how you see people would um actually change so like i said this video is a very very short video and i hope you guys really learned something from this and uh before i go before i end this video um if you know you haven't subscribed subscribe you know like share the video and you know try to comment on what you really think about this video so without further ado take good care of yourself and in